Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you how to crochet this V-stitch cluster pattern. It's nice for a blanket, hat, scarf, and more. I'm using worsted weight yarn and an H hook. To begin, chain 26 or any multiple of three chains, then add two more chains. In the fourth chain, we'll begin our double crochet cluster stitch. Begin a normal double crochet, but don't finish it. Then begin a second double crochet, partially finish it. Yarn over, then completely finish both stitches. And then we do a chain one. In the same chain, we'll repeat. Start our double crochet cluster stitch, but don't finish it. Then begin another double crochet stitch and only partially finish it. Yarn over and then finish both stitches. You can see how this is our first V-stitch cluster stitch. We'll skip two chains and then begin working in the next chain with the same V-stitch cluster stitch. Then start the second double crochet stitch, partially finish it, then yarn over and completely finish both stitches. Chain one. And repeat this double crochet cluster stitch again with the first double crochet and then the second double crochet. You can see what the second V-stitch cluster looks like thus far. I'll skip two chains again, then do my full V-stitch cluster stitch with the two double crochet clusters with the chain one in the center of them. Continue with this pattern across the row. At the end, you'll have one chain remaining. Place a double crochet stitch in the last chain to help create straight edges for your item. Plus this matches the beginning skipped chain three, which serves as a double crochet as well. For row two, I'm using a different color, but feel free to use the same color. Chain three and turn your work. The chain three serves as a double crochet for the edging. Now find the center of the previous V-stitch cluster stitches. There should be a chain one there. In this chain one space, make a V-stitch cluster stitch again with the double crochet cluster and the chain one. And now I'm finishing the second half with the double crochet cluster again. And then we'll move on to the next chain one space from the previous row. Here we'll put our next V-stitch cluster stitch consisting of the double crochet cluster, chain one, and another double crochet cluster. You can see what this looks like thus far. Continue putting the full V-stitch cluster stitches in each chain one across the row until you get to the last stitch, in which case you'll put a double crochet over the previous chain three of the start of that row. As mentioned before, this just helps make the edging look a bit nicer on both sides. You can see what this looks like thus far. Moving on, you can use the same color or change colors, and all subsequent rows will just be a repeat of the row two that we just did. So I started with the chain three to serve as a double crochet edging, and then I look for my first chain one space, and in it I'll do my V-stitch cluster stitch pattern, which consists of the double crochet cluster, a chain one, and another double crochet cluster. I'll continue the same pattern that we did on row two across the row in each of the chain one spaces. And as always, at the end, be sure to put a double crochet over the chain three of the previous row to help make a nice consistent edging along the sides. And that's how I crochet a V-stitch cluster stitch pattern.